Hello and welcome back. I am a hacker and it's really nice to have you on board. In this video, we'll look at hacking into OWASP Juice Shop. So our main objective for this video would be to hack into the OWASP Juice Shop using XSS vulnerability, also to explore this in intercept option in Burp Suit. So if you are following along, you would know that in the previous video, we did set up the OWASP Juice Shop on Heroku, as well as we set up the Burp Suit, as well as we set up the Foxy Proxy, and all of these other things. We also did start it with hacking into OWASP Juice Shop, in which we looked at how to gain the administrator access into Juice Shop. We also hacked into finding out the scoreboard. So these were just the two vulnerabilities that we found and exploited in the previous video. In this video, we'll dig deeper and we'll make a deeper dent inside this scoreboard by hacking into the juice shop and doing much more. So let's start simple and start with the XSS vulnerability. So if you are not familiar with what is XSS vulnerability, how it works and how to exploit it, I do have a video which I will link it down in the description. You can also see a card in the top right corner. So you can just click on that and it will tell you exactly what XSS is and how to exploit it in great details. But if you do know about the XSS to exploit that, you just have to copy this already given code from Juice Shop and just scroll up and in the search box, just paste it. And once you paste it, you will see that it will embed this iframe inside the website in which you can see you have uh, like the song is getting played. So this is done. I don't know why it's not showing the green icon in which says that the vulnerability has been found and score have been given. But anyway, this is how to sort this vulnerability or this is how to score this on the scoreboard. Now I think I, I picked the wrong one. Let's try it once more and see if that works. And yes, indeed it works. So uh, it was just a problem of like, I was unable to get this last iframe. So now the, the, this has been done. Now let's get back to the other vulnerabilities and find those out as well. Now that we are discussing the XSS, we do have another vulnerability of XSS inside this juice shop. Let's exploit that as well. So I'll just copy and paste. What it says is perform a DOM XSS attack with this. So it's a ready-made code, you know, nothing really fancy. You just have to paste that into the search box and there you go. You have just easily scored another point. Now I'll come back to the scoreboard again and find something really inter interesting. Like up till now, we were just playing around with the XSS and stuff like that. But let's go a little bit deeper and gain access or find out the credentials for the admin account. So if you have watched the previous video, you would know that in the previous video, we bypassed the login and we created some random session using the SQL injection and we did got the administrator access, but now is the time to find out the real credentials and then gain the access of administrator account. So for doing that, like it would be, let me show you the, so this is the, um, this is the challenge that we have to do. Like in the previous one, we did gain the administrator access, but that was using the SQL injection. Now it's saying that don't use the SQL injection or don't just go and use the SQL injection and gain the, uh, gain the access, but go and find the original credentials of the administrator account and then try to log in. So let's do that. For doing that, I will have to come over to the account and first log out. Once I'm logged out, I will come over to the account and then click on login. So from the previous video, I do know that admin at juice shop is the email address. Now in order to find out the password, what I will do, I will just give it a random password and then try to log in. And it just says incorrect password, email or password. Now I will just come over to the burp and then try to come over to the proxy and then HTTP. And inside that I will come over to this post and inside this, I will send this request to intruder in order to find out the original, the original password. Now, once it's 
gets sent out to the intruder. I will come over to the intruder, click on this positions tab, and then try to clear out everything. Uh, and then just target the password. Then click on add, and it will just target password, as we already know the username. Now what I will do is I will just click on load. And if you are following along, I did specify that you need to download the first DB, which is a repository from the TENC GitHub account. Now, once you open the TENC account, you can see a repository by the name of first DB. It contains everything like A to Z. Uh, there are a lot of different first DB uh, repositories which you can download, but this one has fully everything, like the scan list, like the backdoors, and a lot of different things. So I would encourage you to download this one. And once you download this, then you can extract it and you will get everything. So inside the first DB, like once you download it and extract it, it will extract it in the first DB dash master folder. Then you can come over to scan list and inside the scan list, there is a discovery folder and inside the discovery, we have a web content. Now inside that web content, we have this big.txt. You can just double click on it and then remove the check from URL code and then you can click on start attack. Once you click on start attack, it will take some time, but it will find out the original password of the uh, admin account if your email is okay. So it's going to take some time, but I will just, so we are not even near to the completion of this file, but it has already found the correct password. And I can say that from the result or the length of the result of this, of this payload. So let's just try this password out and find out if that works. So I'll come over to the juice shop and try to, and it like the perp suit has already applied the request. So that's why we have found the vulnerability, but let's just try it once more and find out if that works. Indeed, we are logging. So we have now the original password of the admin and we are now logged in with the original credentials of the admin account. So the password is admin at juice up and the password is admin123. So we have another vulnerability as well. We have, or you can say we have exploited another vulnerability as well. Now let's create another big dent in the scoreboard as well. Like there is a vulnerability which says, make yourself rich by placing an order. So that is related to working with the intercept of burp suit. Uh, now let's work on that. Now let's create, like let's place some orders that makes us rich. I will find out that by typing in place an order and the, here that is. So let's explore this vulnerability. For doing that, I will come over to the main site. That is the juice shop and then add something to the basket. Now something is added to the basket and then I will stop this attack because we don't need this. Our main purpose for doing that was to find out the admin password and, that's, and that has been found. Now I will come over to the proxy tab and then from the proxy tab, I will turn on the intercept and then come over to the juice shop, click on this, add one more quantity and then click on forward. As the intercept is on, so it will stop the traffic and it will examine and do, and give, at, uh, and give us a chance or ask from us, what do we want to do? After that, I click just forward and forward just brought this request in which we have this quantity, like which is getting increased in the shopping cart. So instead of increasing the quantity or decreasing, I will just add something like three with a bunch of zeros in like minus. And then click on forward and then turn off the intercept. Once I do that and come over here, you would see that the quantity will get added in minus something. Okay, so once that's done, I will then click on checkout and try to play, place the order with 
uh, with the default address and stuff like that. Try to choose my card or try to choose the delivery type. Click on continue. Try to pay with a card. So these are all you know, this is a demo project and everything is demo in it. So you can just click on pay, pay, stuff like that. And there is our vulnerability. We have placed an order that's making us rich. The main idea for finding that vulnerability was to go and exploit a vulnerability that's adding a quantity in negative. So that would result in like the money in minus, which is like instead of charging me some money, it will transfer some amount to my account. Now that's done. Let's go back to the scoreboard and find something more interesting from this. So there is a vulnerability which I, when I was practicing, I didn't practice, which is view the view another person or another user shopping cart, which is also related to intercept. But let's just not do this. Let's just do one more interesting one, which is submit a feedback uh, with zero star. Give a devastating zero star feedback to the store. So let's exploit this. For exporting this, I will come over to the menu and then click on customer feedback. Turn on the intercept by coming over to the burp suit. Add a random comment, give it one star and add nine plus five so this is 39. I will add that and do note that the intercept in burp is on. So when I click on submit, it will send a request to burp suit. So I will just click on one forward and then click on one more forward. Here you can see that the rating is one. So in order to give the rating as zero, I will make this zero and then click on forward then click on forward, turn off the intercept in order to complete the request. And you can see we have given a devastating zero feedback to the shop. Now this is done. We do have another challenge related to the feedback, which says that uh, leave a feedback on another user or on behalf of another user. So let's exploit that as well. Let's first look at what it says and then we'll exploit that really quickly. So post some feedback in another username or another user, something like that. For doing that, I will come over to the customer feedback, add a random comment, come over to the burp, turn on the intercept and then give it one star. And the result of three plus six minus eight is nine minus eight is one. So I will try to click on submit, come over to the burp, click on forward, click on forward again, click on forward, click on forward again. So here you can see that we have user ID one. In order to leave comment or in order to leave a feedback on another username, we just have to change this one to two or three or something like that. Anything you would like. And to add a cherry on top, I will also make this rating as zero as well. So once I do that, I will click on forward, then forward, and then turn off the intercept in order to complete the, recept, the request. And you would see that once I come over to the juice shop, we have another challenge that's been completed. So now here you can see that we have left feedback on another user's name. So just to recap, what we did in this video was we, the first thing we did was we exploited this XSS vulnerability. Then we came over to another XSS vulnerability and we exploited that. And then we exploited all of the vulnerabilities that were related to the intercept. So that was the first post some feedback in another username. Then we logged in with the administrator uh, account by finding its original uh, email and password. Then what we did was we placed an order which made us rich. So this is pretty much it for this video. I hope you did learn something from the juice shop. Now you would say that why is it important to come over and practice on this OS juice shop? Well, it's really important. Like suppose you are just getting started with hacking and you don't know much about hacking. 
So whenever you get a target, these would be the steps that you will follow. Like you would first try to exploit an XSS vulnerability, then you will go play around with the intercept, and then you would go play around with the SQL injection. So these would be like, this, this would be a path for you to find some of the well-known vulnerabilities in a, uh, in a website when you are performing a penetration testing. So this is really helpful and this is really important to do. Like when I was learning hacking, I also started with these kind of applications in order to find out and create a flow for myself. So this is pretty much it for this video. I hope you did like if there was something missing or if you didn't understood something, just leave a comment down below and surely I will be there replying your comments. So have a pleasant day, bye for now, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.